Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, my husband's sitting in on this one with me. Um, we're recording the screen a little bit differently than we did in the past, but I'm here to bring you the second half of our No Spend January and to give you an overall idea of how that went for us. Um, so I'll link the video here showing the first half of the month for you, which is, you know, weeks one and two. And then today I'm gonna go over the last two weeks, which is basically just going over anything the uh, variable expenses, so all of our regular bills and stuff, I'm not going over that in this aspect, but the things that kind of varied. So for example, just starting off here, we had for week three, which was January 15th through 21st, um, we had our weekly groceries, which was 54, 68. And then I picked up some vitamins. Those were not budgeted for. I ran out of um, one of the kids' vitamins, and so I had to pick more up. So that was 884, not budgeted. Uh, kids clothing hangers also not budgeted but they were out and it was driving me bonkers leaving their clothes just sitting not hanging up in their closet so I picked up a package of those which those were only a dollar so dollar six will got gas in his car which is basically a weekly occurrence 13.52 for that um, I also picked up our monthly staples from Costco 72.55 that was in our grocery budget Supplemental groceries for the month. So you can see this week, week three, we spent quite a bit on groceries. So we had our Walmart, Costco, and Aldi. I spent $60.52. Um, and I'll try and remember to link that grocery haul here because it was a supplemental in the sense that it was a lot of our snack foods, cereal, and staples that would kind of get us through the rest of the month because we did have a $400 grocery budget. And I knew that if I didn't meal plan very well, we would go over, which you're going to see what happened there in a minute. Anyway, so that same trip, I also picked up a roll of paper towels for $1.04. We didn't budget anything for household goods during the month of January, so that was also not budgeted for. More vitamins, $4.76. This um, was not a necessity. We took the iPads away from the kids for a week. Now, I'm not sure if that was more punishment for me or for the kids. Um, he was at work for most of the time, yeah. well, not most of the time. I mean, you're home mid-afternoon, but... Gone most of the day, but most of their awake time, I'm here. Yeah. Um, they did okay. They, they lost their iPads because of their attitudes, and they needed a break from electronics in general. And so... Pretty much every time we'd try and take them away, it became a big tantrum. Big, especially with our son. Um, and I know if you've watched our daily vlogs, which we haven't done a lot of those recently, but in our daily vlogs, you'll see that they're on their iPads a lot, and... It's just something that we need to get better control of. But anyway, they lost their iPads for a week, which meant that when they were home with me and I was home, well, I'm always home, but when we were home, they, I wanted to keep them occupied. And so crafts and, you know, getting to some of the Christmas presents that they hadn't opened yet. Um, Jackson had a dinosaur excavation kit that he did with kind of, it's still sitting say, back on the counter. A little bit, little bit left um, on that. So stuff like that is what we tried to get utilize their time with and so this dollar tree i went and got them some new coloring books alice our three-year-old really enjoys coloring so i picked up a few new coloring books a few puzzles and things like that just to kind of supplement and make it seem more exciting for them so hopefully it wasn't as hard because i knew they were going to give some pushback especially that first beginning few days so i wanted to have things that i could kind of occupy them with so seven dollars and 42 cents well spent because they did pretty good and then the end of that week, I did fill up the van at Costco for $17.48 on gas. So that was week three. Week four, there's really not a whole lot here. As we got towards the end of the month, it got harder. I don't know about you, because you don't do a lot of shopping anyway. Um, although you were the first person to go over on grocery budget. <laughs> so I did our weekly Walmart grocery haul. That was $49.17, and we were right under budget. We were at like... $399 and like 50 cents. We were right under the $400 budget. So why don't you talk to us about the donut surprise? <laughs> Well-intentioned. Well, I, uh, I had a, the closest thing I've had to a day off for the entire month. I had a four hour day on Monday. So I thought, all right, you know, get some breakfast for everybody, surprise them, bring it home. And I pull out my wallet. I picked up some donuts and pulled out my wallet, and I'm like, all right, I have to use cash. Okay, scan the donuts, get it all done, and then just force a habit, grabbed my card, and ran it. 
So rather than using the cash that he had in his wallet, because he always carries cash with him, uh, excuse me, he accidentally just paid with the card. So $5.99 for donuts sent us over budget on the groceries. So it was well intentioned. It was well intentioned. Got and they some were good donuts. They were delicious. We also knew that we were going to be heading into February and cleaning up our eating, and so we really enjoyed those donuts <laughs> because we're not doing like in the past we've done a sugar detox. We're not quite doing that, but we are eating a bit less processed foods and trying to cut sugar where we can. So those quite donuts were good. <laughs> um, Will had his weekly fill up at Costco, gas in his car for twelve ninety, and then. Because we are already over, it's so easy to just keep going over. Um, I picked up some produce because we were out of like bananas and apples and cucumbers. So the kids snack on that a lot. And I'm not going to tell them, no, don't eat fresh produce. Go grab some cereal. So that put us over a little bit as well. So that's where the weekly breakdowns went. And then we'll take a look here at the overall budget. And so... I'll go through it hopefully kind of quickly here, but this is our budgeted column. That's what the beginning of January, these were the numbers that we were budgeting. This is going to be our actual and then the difference. And so this first chunk up here, the monthly bills, rent is always the same. Netflix and Hulu is always the same, so no change there. Um, my life insurance is always the same. It's a direct withdrawal cell phone and I explained in the original budgeting video why that number is so high no we do not pay $255 for two cell phones for us my sisters are also on that plan so they give me their portion uh, this is the full total of the bill so they pay me their portion and that goes towards that so um, our internet we do have high speed internet because of gaming for the most part we don't have cable and so we do splurge on the high speed internet our electricity is on a budget plan that's $112 a month. Our water varies anywhere from 20 to 40. So I always estimate on the high side, it did come in $16.95 under budget, which was good. So Which more helped. than makes up for my donuts. Yes, that does more than make up for the donuts. Our sewer is anywhere between 10 and 20. It came in at 15.86, so we were a little under budget there. We went $11.52 over on groceries. Um, gas we came in under and so he got a new route at work so his mileage has changed so he's not driving as far and so typically we were estimating 150 in gas per month I'm pretty confident we'll be able to drop it down to about 125 so we spent just under 120 which was good our Adobe suite subscription is $52.99 a month that gives us access to all of the Adobe products. It's what we use to edit our vlogs and our videos, as well as all the graphic design. I don't know. That's his thing. But I use Adobe Premiere for video editing. He uses everything else for... Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator. All sorts of fun Adobe stuff. Next, um, my Plexus supplements, so health supplements. I estimated 153. I only spent $80.18, so I changed some of the supplements that I had been taking, and that saved us $72.82, which was good. Scrolling down here to our sinking funds, these are ones that we would typically contribute to, but most of these we did not. So all of these, so our kids, our household, clothing, personal care, medical and health, fun money, and dining out. We did not budget anything for for January because of it being a no spend month. However, we spent the seven dollars and forty two cents on the kids. That was that Dollar Tree coloring books and whatnot. Household stuff was the shovel. Shovel, yes, which was in a prior video. Well, so there was the shovel and then the paper towels from Aldi was that twenty one seventeen. Clothing, we didn't buy anything, which much to his feet's dismay, um, he needed new socks, but he held out so. We just ordered those February 1st because he needed new socks. Uh, personal care, $13.60. That was the vitamins. Medical and health was also mentioned in the, the previous um, mid-month check-in. $25 was a copay that Alice had for an eye exam that she needed for school. Did not budget for that. Fun money and dining out. I'm glad to say we spent nothing. So, yay. That was the weakest high five. All right. <laughs> Xbox savings. Um, you want to talk about your precious Xbox? <laughs> well, not a lot to talk about. They're going to be coming out with a new Xbox at the end of the year, and it's supposed to be a very, very high-end device, so we're figuring it's probably going to be about 500 or so. 
That's so. what we've estimated. So we've been saving for that $40 a month. So that way when the time comes, he can buy it without feeling guilty. Um, if you know anything about him, he's obsessed with electronics, always has the newest gadgets, and usually we don't have the money set aside for it, and then we're feeling guilty when we buy it, but we're being smart. So. Well, usually we buy it on Best Buy with zero interest, because usually anything I'm buying qualifies for zero interest, so yeah. it ends up just being a backwards, so we're trying it the other way this time, where we pay for it first. Which is how we should do it. Yes. <laughs> So needless to say, $40 set aside for that. Um, same with our Amazon Prime membership. We set aside $10 a month so that way when it comes due, it's like $99 every October. We have the money for it. Miscellaneous, uh, $21.10. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Something. Oh, no, that was postage because I mailed two packages. We had to send back a return for yeah. electronics that, again, he likes the best of the best. It wasn't the best because it didn't work. It, it didn't worked, work. just not the way that I wanted it to. Yes. And no matter what it was, sending it back would have cost the same. So I don't see why you had to qualify it. Anyway, that's what that was. It was postage for a few different things and something else small throughout the month. Auto insurance um, and auto expenses. We usually set aside $200 a month into our sinking fund that covers our auto insurance every six months. Um, oil changes, any repairs that we need. I did... Round, I oversaved on that by $11.77 because I was kind of OCD and I wanted the number in that sinking account to be even and so I rounded up to where it would be like the next even dollar anyway OCD um gift and Christmas savings we set aside $200 a month again I know some people their jaws are going to hit the floor when they see that number because that's a lot of money throughout the year but we have 13 nieces and nephews so that's 13 birthdays there that's 13 Christmas um, we have our own two children, birthdays, Christmas, and then on top of that, we've got our birthdays, Mother's and Father's Day, anniversary, all of that. So that covers all gift giving throughout the year um, for friends, family, and ourselves. So, and she has no idea when to stop at all. I do. I shop year round, and so come like November, you'll see me like frantically buying all of the stuff I find on sale because it feels like I didn't buy enough. And then we kick ourselves. I kept it reeled in. I kick yourself. I'm not kicking myself. I tell you to stop somewhere around June. I haven't even started yet this year. It's only February, February 1st, 1st, 2nd, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the, the gift and Christmas savings, we will probably be over saving for that this year because we're also, um, and I know this contradicts a lot of what people do as well. We use a credit card for a lot throughout the month and we pay it off, but we earn Amazon points. And I know that's not Dave Ramsey friendly or anything like that, but we've been responsible with it all of 2016. We paid it off every single month with no issues. Um, and so we accumulate points on there to shop with on Amazon, which is where I do a majority of my Christmas and gift shopping anyway. And so that'll help towards our gift giving. So it just seems silly not to earn yeah. points on the money that we're spending. Yeah. Again, I realize that's not a Dave Ramsey thing, but we're not strict Dave Ramsey anyway, but I do like some of his principles. Moving on, that was a lot of time spent on gift and Christmas savings, but that's why that number is so high. Because there's like some people, and I know like they set aside $20 a month, and I look at that and I'm like, that wouldn't buy like half our nieces and nephews. So, yeah, PSA, our family knows how to have babies. <laughs> Life insurance for Will. This is an interesting situation. Typically, I set aside $26 a month. His is paid annually. I went in and changed it to a monthly uh, withdrawal, just like mine is, which was at the top of this spreadsheet. And so basically, we had I had oversaved at this point, um, and those withdrawals don't come, start coming out until May. And so he's paid up until May, so I didn't have to set money aside for his life insurance. So that saved us $26. And then for Jackson and Alice, we put $10 a month into a little savings account for them for just spending money or whatnot. So that was the sinking funds. Not too bad. Credit cards and debt. This part was exciting. Um, so our Citibank credit card at the beginning of the month had a balance of over $2,000. Like 2200 Something like that, yeah. Yeah, 2200 So we budgeted, uh, and this is one of our last, that is our last credit card aside from the Best Buy, which was, I'll tell you, talk about that in a second. But Citibank was the last credit card that we have in our like debt pay down and our snowball. It had like a $2,200 balance. We estimated paying $200 that month, uh, last month. 
But with all of his overtime and mileage checks and stuff like that, we were able to send $800 to that credit card, which was great. That's $600 more than what we budgeted. That leaves us with a balance as of today of $1,400. So that's great. The Best Buy credit card, this only had a balance on it for less than 30 days. So he bought me a laptop for Christmas. We charged it on the Best Buy card because of interest-free. At the time, we weren't sure when we would pay it off, and so we just did the 18 months no finance or no interest. Um, I estimated paying $54.99. <laughs> we paid the credit card off, so we paid the entire balance of $902.37. And so that card is gone, um, carried at balance for less than 30 days, which is pretty cool if you think about it. So that means that in the month of January, we paid off $1,700 in debt of credit cards on top of our student loan payment and our car payment. So total debt payoff was um, just over 2100 for the month of January, which is pretty stellar uh, considering. So the no spend probably helped with that quite a bit because we weren't, yeah. I wasn't like just frivol frivolously spending. And so I think that helped rein us in and we used all of that extra money to put towards our cards, which worked in our favor. Which if I'd known that we were doing that, I would have got Best Buy points for that instead of doing interest-free, but... As you can see, we're fond of the points <laughs> that you get on our cards. Um, it's just, we needed a new laptop. I realize need is a objective. No, it was work. a Christmas gift, too, we so had a, she didn't have much had, say in it. That went way over budget for our Christmas gift. Um, budget. Yeah, <laughs> he does that. So he talks about me blowing the Christmas budget. Yeah, he does that. $900 Christmas gift when our budget was way, way less than that for each other. We don't really buy much for each other. Um, we don't need anything because we usually buy whatever we want. I was going to say, we buy whatever we want year. until we get into the big ticket items. And it's like, oh, I can't afford to buy that for myself. So then it's like, all right, well, I can either get you this cheap $20 thing you just threw on your list to have on your list. No. Or I know you want this. So here's a new laptop. And it's paying dividends. Saying We're using you get it right to. now. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, it's strong enough for me to do my video editing on what the old one was not. And we actually just got like an updated version of the old laptop that we had. So Honestly, the old one could barely run solitaire. The old one was getting very slow. So, all right. So that's a look at our, how our January went. I'd say it went pretty well. Um, you know, we went over on a few categories, but overall we were still under budget. So I don't remember the exact number. I could probably figure it out here pretty easily, but Overall, we were still under budget, um, which is where it came into where we were able to send more towards debt. So that worked out in our favor. But do you have anything else to add? No. no. We're glad it's February 1st. We very could definitely so. feel the tightness. Not that we spend a lot, because I'm still very conscious of where our money goes. And even small purchases, I, I get this little like twang of guilt. Um, because I know as soon as I get home, we use YNAB for our budgeting, the youneedabudget.com. And we've been using that since last January. And so I know as soon as I get home, I have to enter that receipt into YNAB. And I have to choose a category. And it's going to make me like pull money from somewhere if it's not budgeted for. So it's, it's one of those things that it makes me think before I spend. So even when we do have the extra money, um, we still spend a lot less than we used to. I want to say, like, I was looking at our, our yearly reports like... We, we used to spend a lot on dining out, not so not so much in the past like year and a half. I was gonna say it'd be if we did, it'd be like a pizza here. Or yeah, there, like or like when we're traveling really going out out. Um, I want to say we still spent about twelve hundred on dining out in two thousand sixteen, which if you break that down monthly, is still quite a bit. Um, I'm sure most of that came from trips back home. Yeah. A lot of that was traveling um, back to Michigan to visit family. Uh, there was a week in the summer where the kids were at my mom's for a week. And we went out to eat every day because there were a lot of restaurants we wanted to try. We had lived here at that point almost a year and hadn't really eaten out down here um, when we moved to central Kentucky. So that was a big week of <laughs> but anyway totally getting off tangent we've done really well at kind of reining ourselves in on our spending i am still very much a shopaholic at heart and i noticed i found myself in january 
finding excuses and other ways to like get my shopping fix. And so in, a, in the previous video, I mentioned that we had an Amazon credit because um, we did a return and we had like $50 on file to spend on Amazon. And so I was like finding ways because that wasn't part of our budget. So like we got your yoga mat and I kind of got that like little thrill of getting a package at the door and we got your the surge protector for the wall. Um, stuff like that where it's like, well, this isn't part of the budget, so it's not against the no spend rules, which is probably bad because it just fed my habit. But my worst thing for spending is I'm a bit of a treater. So it's one yes. of those things where, you know, she tells me the kids are having like a bad day or you know, one of them got hurt, you know, bring home a little bit of candy here or, you know, donuts for breakfast. You know, that's, that's the type of stuff that I typically like to do. So and he does that to me whenever I'm like, all right, I'm going to start watching what I eat. So then he'll like surprise me with my favorite candy. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Like, he does it out of love, but that's a horrible way to love someone. <laughs> so. so that's what kills me about going out of the no-spend January into trying to eat healthier from here forward for, yeah. you know, foreseeable futures. That it's like, yay, I can go back to buying some stuff. And then it's like, I'm not allowed to buy any of the stuff I want to buy. Yes. So, like... He was at work and he I sent work. me a picture of the like hostess and little Debbie food aisle. And that would be something where he'd be like, oh, I'm going to get some honey buns or some, what do you want? Ding dongs. <laughs> so. I didn't name them that. No. Ding dongs and ho-hos. Why would they do that? I don't know. It's a horrible marketing. Or maybe it's good. People don't forget the names. I like ding dongs and five guys in my mouth. Yeah. Five guys burgers. That's. We're probably going to have to go yeah. there soon. Probably. If you've not tried or if you don't have a Five Guys Burgers and Fries in your area. It's amazing. It's amazing. I suggest you find one. Um, I'm not sure if they're nationwide or not. I'm I don't not know. Sure. Oddly enough, when we lived in Michigan so. and Actually, when yeah. we live live here, um, we have a location like within a mile or two of our house. And we did back in Michigan too. So, But we haven't gone too much. We treat ourselves here and there, but not horribly. So... All right, I think that's all we've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you participated in No Spend January, I'd love to hear how it went for you. Um, so leave a comment down below. And as always, please hit that thumbs up. What is he doing? Oh, seriously? I'm looking up here, so I didn't even notice. <laughs> Go away. All right, see you guys later. Bye. All right. We're going to be looking down. Okay. I mean, the camera's there. <laughs> I like how I have the glare on my glasses, and you just look... Anyway. That's because I'm consciously doing this instead of <laughs> doing this. I'm consciously... Hmm, that's a better angle. Okay. Um, Get our giraffe on. <laughs>